Well, I started 40 here years. in the summer of 76. I left for a little while, but I came back. I worked. You know, I started out at, as a laborer and worked my way up, went to school. Uh, you can go out in the field, and, and I mean, they, even Frank, me and Frank's worked on the jobs together all up through there. You know, everybody knows everybody. It's a, it's a, you know, they make sure you can walk up to anybody in the field, you need to call them by name and be aware of who, you know, because everybody's an important part of it. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people that have been here a long, a long time, a lot of families. That's normally where our best employees come from. It's just people recommending other, other family members. And we have guys that recently, we celebrate guys that are 25 years, 30 years, 35 years, 40 years. Buddy. Got another episode of the Bill of Vlog for you today. We are coming to you from, we're just north of Atlanta, Georgia. We're with C.W. Matthews. We're out here on a road construction project. C.W. Matthews does um, a ton of DOT work, government work, road work, all over the state of Georgia. So we're checking them out today. We just started working with them a few months ago. Super, super excited. The job we're out on right now is a road widening job. So they're taking, it had one lane in either direction. The population's grown, it's now inadequate. So they're putting two lanes going in either direction now. So it's, you have the existing road, you build half of it while you have traffic on the existing road. And then you switch traffic over to the stage one, like he was just explaining stage one. Now they're on stage two where uh, traffic is driving on the new road they've just built, and now they're building the other side of it right now. He said there was 20-something retaining walls on this job. So there's retaining walls, there's three bridges, there's the utility relocations, there's all sorts of earth moving. There's a lot that goes into just widening a road by just a few lanes. So we're, this is the very first place we started. Not much going on right now because it's pretty wet. We got a lot of rain yesterday. It's cloudy, foggy, so it hasn't had the chance to dry out yet. We're gonna try to go down the way a little bit, see what else is going on and then keep on visiting some jobs. We'll see what we can, we can find out today. What we do is not easy, it's long hours, it's hot in the summer and you know, it's tough, but you take pride in doing it. And I think that's what the people that stick with us, that's what they have to say. They see things being built, you know, it's exciting. It's, it's not for everybody, but, but I think, you know, we, there. Without, without a doubt.
Uh, so the first job we went to, like I said, was a road widening job. Second job, we just left. Matt snagged some drone footage of it. They're paving an on-ramp to, to University Parkway, is what my map says. So they're laying down some asphalt. It's still a little early in the season as far as paving is concerned in Atlanta, Georgia. That, he was saying that mix is something you can lay around 45 degrees and rising. So today it's, it's almost 70, so there's no problem with temperature. They're bringing all their paving crews back right now because uh, March, April is when everything warms up enough where they don't have to worry about temperature anymore and they can just run through the day, but more importantly, through the night. Uh, a majority of their paving crews all pave at night, like you said, so I'm excited to come back this summer and check out some night paving. So we just checked out one paving crew. We're gonna go check out another paving crew uh, about 20 minutes from here, see what they're doing. They're supposed to be doing mainline, which is my personal paving favorite. So good day. We should see some, some more cool stuff here pretty soon. When we checked out the bridge that they were building, they had already built one side. They were working on the second side. The bridge was going over top of railroad, so there's very co close coordination with the railroad because the railroad, the railroad just automatically takes priority over anything else ever. Um, specifically, they were forming the cap on that middle uh, pier bent. Uh, and then once that's poured, it looked like they were probably gonna be pouring it tomorrow. Once that's poured, um, formed, poured, stripped, cured, they'll come in and set the beams, most likely overnight. So, and then they'll pour the bridge deck, and then you'll have two new bridges, two lanes going in either direction, as opposed to the old, smaller bridge that was just two lanes total, one in each direction. So that's the bridge. <laughs> 